I'm back to take on the Rad 9 Challenge of the nine movies that absolutely terrified me when I was younger. These are the movies that stuck with me, movies I thought about, had these memories of these scary stories with that maybe gave me some nightmares out there. And this is going to be a super fun list to dive into. But first, if you love talking horror movies and collecting movies and being part of this amazing league of mega film fans, make sure you stab that subscribe and like button. And of course, put in the community list down below those comments. That's for you. Go ahead and kill them comments with your own Rad 9 ranking list of the movies that scared you. Because I would love to hear your thoughts out there, your spooky stories, and just have some fun time talking some movies. But let's get into this list. Starting off in no particular order. First up, we're going to have Hocus Pocus. And I know what you're saying, Mike, Hocus Pocus, a Disney family movie, scared you? Yes, when I was a little kid, I plugged in the VHS at my grandma's house. And the opening scene terrified me where it's just panning over the rural area very quickly. You got the horrific Hocus Pocus music. And then you got these witches that are kidnapping children and sucking the life out of them. That should scare you when you are a kid, and it absolutely did. Uh, of course, now I've grown to really like the movie. It's just a perfect family spooky season kind of movie for the fall season. Uh, not the sequel. I don't recommend that one, but the first one is fantastic. All right, next up, let's get into a little bit of a psychological thriller here with the butterfly effect. Yes, this movie absolutely just messed with my mind. You see all these horrific scenes and that idea if you make the wrong choice, your life can spiral out of control. And this character kept trying to fix the life and make different decisions and they kept getting worse and worse and worse. And it was just so horrific. I mean, some of the scenes in here are just so tough to watch. So I don't often go back and rewatch this one. But because it stuck with me, how to shout it out on this list. All right, next up, we got The Devil's Rejects. Yes, this was a horrific movie. I only saw it one time. We'll not go back and rewatch it. You basically got this horrible group of family characters just doing terrible things to people for the sake of terrible things. I mean, Captain Spaulding, right, with the, with the makeup, the clown is just so creepy. And that, like, toy torture scene stuff I just I can't get into stuff like that so I can never go back and rewatch this one but it stuck with me for quite some time that's why it's on this list all right next up we gotta have Terrifier 2 yes a more modern horror movie that is a recent one usually I don't get scared with movies now right because I'm older I've seen a lot of horror movies now but this is one that just scared the bejeebies out of me in the theater uh Art the Clown is such a horrific villain and just how he once again tortures those characters I mean that bedroom scene it just keeps going and keeps going and doesn't stop and you're like are they going to take this to another level and yeah they do I it was tough to keep down the popcorn during that movie watch I was gagging so much oh such a tough movie to watch, but great story, and I kind of want to watch the sequel when it comes out. But yeah, proceed with caution on that one. Next up, we got It, the Tim Curry one, the one that came out on TV in a two-parter. Uh, Tim Curry as Pennywise the Clown, absolutely horrific. The makeup, the mouth, I mean, just the expressions. Oh gosh, so scary. Some of the line delivery in there, uh, the library scene. I mean, when I walked in, and my cousin and brother were watching this one on home video. I had to walk out right away when I saw that clown. I just had to get out of there. Usually I'm a fan of clowns, but not this one. And yeah, this it just stuck with me. But now I absolutely love the movie and story. All right, next up, we got to have The Ring. Yes, yeah, seeing The Ring in theaters, I believe with my mom and brother. This was horrific. When that creepy girl pops out out of the TV from the well, you're like, what the heck is happening? It was just so lifelike. It was like, oh my goodness. And then they put in the movie. It's like, you got seven days. You get the creepy phone call. It's like, oh my gosh, I cannot handle this as a kid. Always stuck with me. Never went back and rewatched this one, but oh. Just so terrifying. All right, next up, we got to have Halloween H2O, which is one of my favorite horror movies of all time now. But seeing this one just very briefly at my cousin's house when people were watching it, I, I see Michael Myers pop up for the first time. Absolutely terrifying. The pale face, right? The darkest eyes, the creepy Halloween music. And then you get Joseph Gordon-Levitt getting, a, you know, a skate in the face. After that, I was out on that movie, could not rewatch it until later on in life, and then I watched it, fell in love with it, and absolutely one of the best movies of all time, in my opinion. So fun. Now to get into the top two movies that absolutely terrified me here, and we got Freddy vs. Jason, which is why I'm rocking the shirt. 
Now, I absolutely love the movie, but when I was younger, seeing this in the theaters for the first time with my older brother, it was just us. Oh my goodness, these characters are so horrific. Freddy Krueger being played by Robert England, the line delivery, the movements are just so haunting. Then you got Jason, who's super scary as well. And just to see these two horrific titans throwing down on screen, I mean, I was just scared the whole time. It's like, you're not safe if you're awake, you're not safe if you're asleep, just so haunting with all the great music in there as well. Um, but now I go back, rewatch it all the time, the best verse movie, in my opinion, to ever be made. It was just directed so well in such a haunting environment, just, it stuck with me, but I absolutely love it now. So I gotta shout out Freddy vs. Jason. All right, now we got to get into number one. And I got a funny story with this one, but we got Silence of the Lambs. So me and my brother, we wake up in the morning, we turn on a movie on TV, and I'm like, okay, Silence of the Lambs, you know, movie about lambs, probably a fun family uh, movie. Let's check this out. Turn it on, and it's right at the scene of Buffalo Bill doing the dancing. You know what I mean? I was like, what the heck are we watching my eyes were just like, whoa, I did not know they could put this stuff in movies. I had to turn it off after that. And that scene always stuck with me. And I didn't go back to that movie till much, much later. Uh, but the movie is absolutely fantastic. A great, you know, kind of psychological thriller, police procedural movie. It does have horrific moments, of course, as the one I mentioned. And then, you know, all the Hannibal Lecter stuff with Anthony Hopkins is just so great and the twist in there. Uh, but I absolutely love the movie now. Definitely happy it won Best Picture. But when you're a kid and you see some of those ske uh, scenes... You know it's going to stick with you. It's going to terrify you. You're going to have some nightmares. And that's why all these movies are on the list. But once again, if you did not put your list down below yet, go ahead and do that. What were some of the movies that scared you? If you can't do a list of nine, do a top three. Do whatever you can. Uh, but let's have fun talking some scary movies. And if you enjoyed this physical media topic, stab another video right now. And thank you so much, my mega membership supporters.